Yeah! It's time, everybody, for the World Series. And uh, we're, we're starting out. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a look at the teams. As, as you're probably aware already, there is a three-game World Series championship to be had here. Uh, so we could go all three games. It might be over in two. We just don't know. Will it go to a million extra innings? We just don't know. We're going to have to watch and find out. So we'll probably we'll probably do that, won't we? Um, good. Right now, let's. Uh, yeah, no, it helps if you select the right window. There you go. That's nice. Uh, so here you go. Here's your bumps and medics that are coming out in the poll at the moment. They're ahead, 52 to 48 in the uh, the voting for who's going to come out on top. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, who knows? Uh, yeah, it could be interesting. Uh, Bumson Medics, obviously, led by Spock Bumson, the team captain and indeed mascot. Um, but it's uh, Exponential Tyrone. I ran a warm-up game earlier on, and uh, in the warm-up game, Tyrone hit two home runs. A pair. A pair of home runs. Well, we'll, we'll see how we get on with that. Now, pitching-wise... Not a massive amount of talent on the pitching side of things, uh, but they do have reasonable depth. They they can go two, three pitches deep, and uh, and still have uh, some capabilities going on there. Let's switch over and check out Cheerio Incorporated. Um, here we go. Here's the team led off by Plastic Swans. Uh, Cheerio Incorporated, of course, probably their most famous player is Steve Mastodon, the catcher. Uh, whether he plays catcher or not today. Is anyone's guess in the warm-up games they were playing people in all kinds of crazy positions all of them crazy 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 positions uh, so it's very hard to say for sure the one thing we do know is that it will be Lance Splendid who will be leading off the pitching for them and uh, he's he's got a heck of an arm on him heck of an arm right there so let's get to the game uh, and uh, here we are at the championship uh, in the uh, well, we, we managed to three home runs in the uh, in the playoffs. That was nice. Didn't help us. Intriguingly, trivia fans. Or oh, shall I save you a bit of trivia? Uh, yeah, I'll save you a bit of trivia. Uh, right, let's watch the game. Here we go. Are you sure you'd like to watch the CPU play? Nothing would delight me more. Uh, we're at the Shaka Sports Turf for uh, game one. Game one. I'll save the trivia for when I'm lacking in other commentary, because uh, you know that's likely to happen. How's the uh, how's the old volume mix doing? Are we a, is the volume mix about right? Uh, I can I can tweak. I have buttons with which tweaking can occur. Well, theoretically, I have buttons. Uh, right. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. I see. Sorted. Right. Okay. So uh, it is Bomson who are batting first. And, uh, well, okay, they're, they're starting out with Jack Rasputin. Uh, is batting first. Dirk Shafter pitching for Cheerio. And, uh, well, okay, Rasputin is gone. Okay, all right, thank you, thank you, sound people. Uh, next up, we've got uh, Perry Salinas. Uh, she's in a very positive mood. But is, uh, is, is not biting on any of these dubious pitches from Shafter, who... He hasn't got a great deal of pace on his ball, but uh, he does have uh, he does have a vicious swerve. No, nothing happening there. Jeff from IT with the pass to Plastic Swans. Out number two. This inning is rapidly running away from us. Um, Bernard Dunk, the left fielder, next up. All right, okay, yep. Okay, yep. Shaft has not really showed us much so far, but uh, he's got two outs quite cleanly, and that's... Solid, although solidly falling bunk there. Uh, bunk? Yeah, Bernard Dunk. Bunk. All right, if that's his nickname. Yeah, I expect it probably is. And uh, there's... Uh, well, yeah, no, it's gone. And uh, the, cheerio, uh, the medics, beg your pardon, the medics can't do anything from their first at-bats. Oh. oh, well. There you go. Right, we're looking now at Cheerio Incorporated. And, uh, I mean, that's a heck of a hit. Jeff from IT there is going to clean around for a double. And he gets it, but only just. Uh, but it counts. I mean, only just is as good as anything. Uh, his plastic swans. Uh, pitching for the medics is uh, Dr. Good Surgery. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he's got very nice socks. I do like the socks of Dr. Good Surgery. 
Uh, Swan's not biting on any of these so far. Now, uh, snags that one, but it goes foul. Two and two is the count. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Foul them off all day. I don't care. I'm not playing. So uh, that's ball three. Uh, yeah, wisely held that one. And that's a strikeout. I thought that was a little high, personally. But, uh, but evidently, not so much. Here's uh, Marcel Purpose. Who is caught? And worse still, gets his teammate out. And that's the end of the first inning. Nothing to nothing. Only one hit in the game so far. It is absolutely a nerve jangler. Are your nerves jangled? They should be. Tonya Spangle. Let's have a look and see what she's made of. She is locked in and has some fearsome looking batting stats. But can she turn that into a hit? That doesn't count. No. Come on. And that'll be run out to first as Bird Dog husses it over there. Bird Dog, of course, originally started uh, with Failurewood Hills, uh, but uh, but has been uh, has been transferred since then. That's a monster of a smash of a foul. It's Tyrone, everybody. He's got a thunderclap of a hit on him, and well, there we go. He's he's gone long, but I don't think he's got the range. Caught out just before the fence. And uh, there he's, he's, he's history. Two outs already. Bambi Severe is next up. She has also got... A, she's got a big hit if she can make it. I mean, given that the bat is actually larger than she is, I can't see how that's possible. But based on the stats, uh, I'm digging the glasses as well. It's almost a, a superhero mask that she's got going on there. Uh, maybe feeling the pressure a little bit in this, the uh, the absolute prime time show uh, for the Electro Sports Baseball League. She struck out and in a lovely bit of lighting throws her bat halfway across the fields. Medic still unable to get a hit. Uh, here's Daphne Teflon and uh, she's got a face like thunder. But does she have the batting to match? Uh, the good doctor there is, uh, is, I mean, he's not much of a pitcher, but he's getting it done. And that'll be out number one, Bambi Severe. Barbara Severe? Probably Barbara. No, I think it's Bambi. Um, anyway, um, we'll find out, won't we? Oh, that's a hit. Don't know who hit it, but they're going to be caught anyway. Gonzo, Perry Salinas with the catch. His former bulldozer power player, admittedly only for one season, Jack Mercury. Murky Jack never really did anything for us, which is why we got shot of him. But uh, three balls in a row there. Dr. Good Surgery is scared of him, and he gets a walk. Cheerio Incorporated are there. They're in it. They're, they're, what, they're, you know, it's happening. That's a thing that's occurred. Uh, and I'd, I'd pause to, to address the comments in the chat, maybe between games. Um, but the game, I'm touching nothing. It's, it's rather luxurious just being able to watch the game. Um, and uh, so here in the commentary booth, I'm, I'm just having to keep my eye on the, on the game as it happens. Uh, Steve Mastodon up to bat. Full count ahead of him. Attempted uh, early takeoff steal there. And they've gone for it again. And that's another walk. Intriguing. Well, here's Bird Dog. And uh, runners first and second, but two outs. Uh, Bird Dog needs just a cheeky little slice of a base hit. And then the lead runner, who is not quick, might, uh, might sneak around. Uh, but that's three balls, one strike. Two strikes, the full count for Bird Dog, who gets nothing and will have another go, obviously. They're all running all the time. Yes, he's furious with himself. Because that was that was a clear scoring opportunity, and two innings down, nobody's there. Ding dong, there's no one in the house. Here's Bomson. Oh, look at him grinning away, because that lawsuit was uh, settled, and uh, so he's uh, he's happy to enjoy himself on the baseball. Uh, let's see if he can't turn this uh, into something. No, he's just he's fouling it off. He doesn't care. Bang. Murky there, makes the snag, and that's out number one. Nothing doing on that one. Uh, his uh, Ben Turncoat sticking his bottom out in that way that helps him to hit the ball. Probably. 
Actually, he's terrible. I don't even know why he's playing. He's a really bad player. Why is he even on the field? He's out, obviously. I mean, there you go. We're round to uh, Doc Good surgery for his first at bat. What's he going to do for us? Well, he's a pitcher, so I would suggest probably not an awful lot. Strike two. Now one was a smidge low. Smidge low. And that will be out as well. Bird Dog being kept busy today, the second baseman. Uh, three up, three down. The medic still unable to find a hit. Yeah, three innings, no hits. This is baseball, everybody. Wearing his special safety helmet, his uh, Dirk Shafter, the pitcher, for Cheerio Incorporated. And that one went foul. Yeah. Yep, that one, that one didn't go anywhere good either. And he struck out, and he's bitterly disappointed with himself. It's nice to see a good mixture of fans in the crowd, although you'd have to say that Cheerio have the numbers uh, at the current time. Uh, whether or not that will be reflected in... Actually, it looks like that chap in the middle there, uh, just off to the left of the umpire, looks like he's in a baby grow. Uh, we'll, have to, we'll have to look into that. But his press studs have come undone. Let's see if he's still there. Yeah, no, there he is. Look, he's, he's, his press studs have come undone. Oh, so is his mate, look. And, uh, well, okay, it's a curious choice. Oh, there's some baseball going on. Is there? Is there, though? I mean, it doesn't doesn't feel like there is. No, there's the, the, the pitchers are just throwing it a lot. And uh, and the batters are choking all over the place. But it's it's early doors yet. Uh, once fatigue sets in, the game sets off. And that's the moment we wait for there. Well, at the end of three, one hit separates the two teams. Here's Jack Rasputin. His mood is up, his tempo is positive, and his biorhythms are in the green. But can he turn it into anything? Well, that's what we're looking at. Uh, Shafter showing no signs of fatigue. This is not a bad hit from Rasputin, but it's come up short. But only because Daphne Teflon there stuck in a heck of a dive to pick that one out just before the fence. Solid work. Good fielding. And... Uh, Keeps the game just on a knife edge in that way that it is at the moment. Balanced precariously. As uh, Perry Salinas is caught out by Jeff from IT. Yeah. His, uh, his bunk. Bunk's having a go. He's, he's back for a second at bat. And he, he just throws it all away on the first pitch. Oh... Still, no hits for the medics. This is not a good sign, medics fans. Um, no. no. But mind you, Cheerio, I've only got one hit so far. Uh, if anything were to hearten the medics fans out there, they have had a couple of walks. But that's about it so far. Yeah, you just you gave it up for nothing. Nothing. Here is Daphne Teflon, who made that spectacular catch a moment ago. And, uh, well... Maybe this is going to... I mean, look at the numbers. Our numbers are astronomical. And that will be a base hit, ladies and gentlemen. Celebrate it. That's, uh, that's what we like to see. That was, that was quite the hit there. His butterfly pork chop uh, ran for his second at bat. And that's another base hit. Uh, Teflon set off early. She rounds second and heads for third. Is she going again? She's going again. She's going for the run. And Teflon, with a three-base scamper there, opens the scoring in favour of Cheerio Incorporated, who, uh, who are now in the lead. And now they're, they're just throwing it away. What do you mean safe? Tyrone there, stealing a base. Uh, I think you'll find that Tyrone was the, the baseman. Oh yeah, I know. It's, well, it's not my team. Neither of them. I mean, they're all my teams, but this still, you know, just spare me. Right, okay. Anyway, that's safe. They've got a runner on third. And uh, it's Murky Jack who's batting, getting himself his second walk of the game. Clearly intimidating the pitcher. Well, here's Steve Mastodon. Just don't get yourself out, Steve, and, uh, and there'll be points in the offing. That's come up short. 
And uh, Bunk's got a piece of it. Well, he's got all of it. And that's out. Number two. Here comes Bird Dog, who was not pleased with himself from his last at bat. So maybe he can hold his temper this time. And uh, he just needs a little cheeky base hit. And there's a, there's a score just waiting there. There it is. The Cindy Vapid opening move. And that's the second run for Cheerio Incorporated. And this game is opening up a bit. Here's the picture. It's Dirk Shafter. Runners first and second. Two outs here in the fourth. And that's all of that done. Don't you? Yeah. Summaries be damned. There, It's all over. But Cheerio have lit up the scoreboard in that way that scoreboards enjoy being lit. And Tonya Spangle is going to try and answer that one uh, with a positive first move. Which will happen any moment now. She's uh, coiled. And there it is. Positive first move and the Bumps and Medics get their first hit of the game. Oh, the game really has come to life now. Potentially. His exponential Tyrone. His confidence has waned since the start of the game. But uh, he is a big hitter. That is a big lad. He would be. Well, yeah, that's true. Uh, Danish Thinker there has, uh, has chucked 50 Danish crowns into the bucket. Thank you very much, Danish. Uh, suggesting that the commentary is pretty solid. Well, I'd like to think so. Certainly, it's uh, 50 Danish crowns worth of, uh, worth of commentary is what you're getting here. Uh, that was out. Someone's stealing and is safe. A murky jack there makes a steal. One out. A runner at third. Uh, and uh, and Bumpson are dialing it up a little bit. Obviously, it's only the first game of three, uh, but you don't want to go behind. You you don't want to don't want to go behind. You want to you want to stay on top of things, and uh, keep competitive. But he's gone. Yeah. Okay. Back round to Spock Bumpson. Can the captain rally the team and potentially bring in a run? No, he's just stood there grinning at it at the moment and. That's what gets him uh, all those favours with the ladies. Uh, it's gone a long way, but it's ended foul. Bumps and Nels, two strikes, two outs. That one, look at the swerve on that bad boy. Bumps and there swinging at nothing, two strikes, two balls. Uh, yeah, he held it for that one. There's the full count. Something's got to give, and it's Bumson. He's given himself out there, and uh, that's the side retired. But they did at least manage their first hit. First hit. Good. Right. Jeff from IT. He looks confident. That's why he's wearing the uh, mirrored sunglasses there. Is he going to turn it into anything? He's just, uh, just eyeballing it. Dr. Good Surgery is starting to fade somewhat. Uh, his confidence has dropped a bit, obviously. Giving up a couple of runs will do that for you. But uh, you, you wouldn't want to be substituting your pitcher this early, five innings in. It's too soon. It's too soon. I mean, you, you, otherwise, you're going to get you're going to get too deep in the ballpen when you've got three games to play. Uh, we're looking at Plastic Swans now. Hasn't accomplished much so far today, but is on the winning team. So, I mean, how much do you need to accomplish if your team wins? It is a team sport, after all. There's uh, there's strike two. That was rubbish. Come on, Sergi. Oh, dear. Oh, a poor piece of judgment there. And, uh, and Plastic Swans goes to sit down. And they're taking him out. Uh, they're bringing in Justice Lemon, who is arguably their star reliever. And we're all going to have to get used to a left-handed left pitcher now. Uh, I, you know, it's it's tricky, but we'll, there, we'll be there. We'll, we'll get used to it. Uh, that one was somewhat inside. Uh, that one's a, a little on the low side. Lemon, struggling to find his target, gives up a walk. Uh, then that's after I was just about bigging him up a bit there uh, to say that he was quite a solid pitcher. But pitching not solid so far. There's another ball. And uh, that's a, there you go. A 97 mile per hour fast ball there. Uh, getting the job done. But uh, there's another base hit. Salinas will return that to second. Runners first and second now. Butterfly Porkchop, who got a double from his first at bat, uh, last at bat, I should say, the second at bat. Two outs, though. Can this turn into something, or will it manifest nothing but misery? And that's out number three. So it'll be the, uh, the second one, then. 
Yep, misery has been manifest. <sighs> Top of the sixth. We're looking at uh, Benny Boy Turncoat. And he's a big nothing. That's why he's at the bottom of the order. One would hope that he's a heck of a fielder. Because he's a absolutely lousy batter. Uh, I would, I would, I'd, I'd substitute him. I'd take him out. He doesn't need to be. Done. All right, okay. He gets a base hit. What do you want? A medal? That's what you're supposed to do. Here comes Justice Lemon. Are they going to keep him in? It's a good move because they do need their relievers. Oh, they're they're anticipating some potential steal action. Despite the oh dear, what were you thinking? Well, you've got the sacrifice there that moves him up to second. A base hit would have got him up to second. Well, all right. Well, there you go. It's uh, the bunt there achieving uh, second base. Ah, can I move my uh, camera top left? It's it's obscuring the left-handed pitcher stats. It shouldn't be. There's no there's no stats down there. No. Oh, it's it's it might be obscuring when the player card comes comes bottom left. Yes, I could probably I could probably move the camera. Hold on a moment. Uh, let's uh, let's press a button that does things. There you go. Let's shift it over there. You don't need to see the commentary booth unless you miss it dreadfully, in which case say so. Um, and then I'll uh, I'll relocate. I'll be the disembodied voice of sports. Who are we looking at? Perry Salinas. Two outs, plenty of action, and uh, and things. Salinas there, fouling him all over the place. We've got a runner on second, but we do have two outs. And that's the full count. And that's... Yeah, no, that's... There's... They're just... Everything's going foul now. Uh, is the pitcher getting hacked off with it? Doesn't really matter. That will be out number three. All right, okay, all right. Well, we're, we're between moments, so I'll, uh, I'll turn the commentary booth back on. There we go, right. And uh, top left. Wallop. There you go. Oh, yeah, look, there's the stats at the bottom. Oh, yeah. That's not something I ever noticed playing the game. I think it always sticks on the right playing the game. That's out number one. Here comes Steve Mastodon. He's had a miss and a walk so far today. Okay. What you got? That's ball two. Justice Lemon hasn't been that impressive so far. Uh, more lemon than justice, it would seem. And that's a nice hit, uh, bisecting the infield uh, to get himself on base. Jack Rasputin making it happen. His bird dog still still annoyed with himself at having been a rubbish batter so far. Uh, maybe maybe he'll turn this around. We'll see, won't we? There's two balls in a row, and there's the attempted steal. Bad idea. Yep, that's out. Sure, sure, yeah. Why, why wait and be just got out? Get yourself out. Saves everybody the time. And a nice hit there. And okay, all right. So, uh, so Cheerio once again have a runner on base. They would have had two runners on base, of course, if they'd not got one out. And oh, action is occurring. Uh, Miss Florida 1997 has come in uh, to uh, to bat in place of Dirk Shafter. And uh, at the moment, Lemon is convinced of an attempted steal about to take place. Okay, well, yes, okay, yes, it is a very fast... They've got a very fast runner on first. But so far, no stealing has occurred. Miss Florida, she's just standing her ground, waiting for a pitch to actually come her way. Uh, two balls, two fouls, two, two no, whatever it, blood, numbers, out, team, gone. There we go. That's that then. Miss Florida goes to sit back down, and at the end of six innings, it is 2-0 in favour of Cheerio Incorporated. And it's, uh, and Bunk is back again. 0 for 2 so far today. Hardly worthy of having a nickname, but he's earned it. Um, uh, and reasons. A strike 2. 
Raimondo Bangit now pitching for uh, Cheerio Incorporated. And that will be a base hit for the medics. No outs. Runner on first. Will they throw him away with an attempted steal? The magic eight ball here in the commentary booth points to probably. Nothing doing so far. And uh, yeah, fouling that one off as well. So two strikes. Oh, self-destructed there. Swinging at absolutely nothing. And uh, here comes Exponential Tyrone to try and turn this opportunity of having an actual base runner into something. Uh, there's the attempted uh, pickoff there, but no, there was there was no steal in action or in evidence. Uh, one way or the other, that one's gone foul. Still waiting, waiting for a big play from Tyrone. Still, still there waiting for it. He's his confidence is is rubbish. His confidence is just a, a pile of pile of bantha doo doo, which is apparently a thing that people say. Uh, and he's gone. Struck out. Well, that's not going to do his confidence any favours at all. Is Bambi severe? Don't you know it's Bambi? Yeah, well, it is. Two outs now. Still got a runner on first. There's the steal. And it's safe. Jeff from IT unable to make the pick off in time. Is it going to help them? Will there be an additional steal attempt over to third? I've seen it happen, and it rarely works. Uh, or will Bambi be able to knock in something big enough to actually get a run for the beleaguered medics? No, is the answer. What was the question? No. <sighs> oh well, yeah. Just, oh, deary me. Yeah, and uh, there's ball number one. It's Jeff from IT, who is now batting. Uh, we're in the uh, the bottom of the seventh here. Justice Lemon hasn't really given up any any trouble so far, but neither has he really been a, a strikeout powerhouse, which is what you would like to see. Um, but, uh, well, you know, the, these things are what they are. And here is Lemon. Throw in some more, and it's Plastic Swans who will be trying to break through. And does so with a very tricky pace uh, hit there that will get her second base and beyond. She is going for third. And has it. A triple there from Plastic Swans. The medics mean business. No, they don't. Cheerio mean business. The people in the white shirts, that's Cheerio. Just, it's worth noting. Just in case it ever comes up again. And is Swans going to go for it? Yes, she does. She takes off. And is out. Well, that was foolish. That was unnecessary. Uh, blowing, a, blowing an easy run there. Just but with a lethar after making a triple, a lethargic run for home, and nothing happens. And we're all disappointed. Because what we really want to see in the baseball is lots of lots of runs. Not this low scoring affair. If I wanted to watch football, I would do. I want a, a cricket score, dag nam it. Uh, we've had enough of Ben Turncoat, and they're bringing Donna Baps in, and it's high time they did. Ben Turncoat is a load of rubbish. We've mentioned that. Donna Baps, however, unable to do anything with it, and is out. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, more changes. Lemon is gone. Uh, they're bringing in uh, Justine Underworld in order, to, uh, in order to do the pinch hitting. We've got a runner on second and one out so far. Uh, two runs adrift at the current time are uh, are the bumps and medics, and this is the eighth inning. So they they're short on, yeah yeah. You will pinch hit no longer. Get yourself back off the field. Here's Jackie Rasputin. He's got big hair, but does he have a big hit hidden somewhere in his kit bag? Uh, he needs it because we we we've desperately got to have something happen here. There's ball two. He flinched at that one. He was a bit nervous. That's a big hit. But it's high. It's not long. It's high. And he's going to be excommunicated right there. And the medics are gone once again. Uh, changes going in. Uh, Underworld's out. And Cat Hardcore is coming into pitch. It's all very dangerous now for the bumps and medics. Uh, Donna Baps. They, they've got shot of her. And Barbara the Butcher's coming in instead. 
to play catcher. Okay. Cat hardcore. She got what it takes. Well, not on that evidence. No. Gives up a base hit. Uh, Cheerio do seem to have the measure of this game at the moment. There's Butterfly Porkchop coming in for a slap. Uh, Cat Hardcore. She's got a good fastball, but nothing else. And that's out number one. Opted to take the lead. Oh, no. We've, we've got a runoff going on. Yeah, you're gone. Yeah, just give it up. A double play there. Uh, nice defensive work from Bumson. But, uh, I mean... They just they just have to avoid giving anything up in this inning and then do some actual scoring. Well, they've done the first part. They've got to do some actual scoring as we head into the ninth. Already. And it's Perry Salinas. A solid player, if ever there were a solid player, but he's 0 for 3 at bat today. Snatching at that first one that was going wide. Foolish. Foolish. Matthew Case chucked... Uh, Five of the Canadian bucks in the bucket as a late fee. Thank you. Yeah, that's a, I mean, that's a discounted ticket for turning up in the last inning. That's out number one. That was low. And we've got a buyer stump going on here. Here's Bunk. He's got himself uh, one hit from three attempts. He needs to turn that into something. Raimondo, bang it, starting to look tired. If ever there were an opportunity to score, this would probably be it. Any time now. Uh, he's standing his ground. That's uh, three balls in a row. Oh, swung at nothing. Oh, what a clown. What are you doing? Oh, with the game on the line, uh, the nerves clearly got to him. Uh, Bang it is being sucked. See, they, they know he's tired. Uh, and it's Monty Rico who's come into pitch. And he's immediately given up what looks like a double. It is a double. Daphne Teflon retrieving. Uh, and that's a, that's a double. Well, gracious. Whew. Well, two outs. Runner on second, and it's exponential Tyrone. Does he have the big hit? Or, in fact, a hit? Or will this be all over for Bumson in game one? It's all over for Bumson in game one. Tyrone knows it. We know it. Game one goes to Cheerio Incorporated. Uh, and... There was very little resistance put up there by the Bumson medics. There was there was an occasional bit of rallying, but no, 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 no. That was that's not the game that I paid to see. No, just just was not the game. I mean, look at that for a scoreboard. What a load of rubbish! Nine hits for Cheerio, five for the medics. Uh, who should be hanging their heads in shame? Uh, Jack Rasputin struck out twice. Tyrone struck struck out three times. Oh boy. Uh, Bunk struck out twice. Bambi Severe struck out twice. Deary, 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 deary me. It's not good enough. Um, they're not going to win themselves a championship with that kind of performance. I can tell you that for nothing. And uh, the loss awarded to Dr. Good Surgery. I mean, he threw five strikeouts, which is, you know, not bad. But Shafter threw six. Raimundo bang it through another five. And uh, there you go. So let's look at your three stars of the day. Dirk Shafter, for reasons, gets uh, the first star. Raimundo, bang it. It's a pitcher's, pitcher's day for the three stars. Butterfly pork chop there. Getting the thirds. Cherry Incorporated. Looking pretty solid. Whew. Hey. Well, that was a game. Uh, I think we can all agree. And obviously, now, here... Cheerio can take it with another win. Uh, they're going to be starting Susie Mutton as their pitcher and uh, and Jerry Goals, who is awful by the looks of it. Although Susie Mutton has no accuracy. Well, this could be hilarious then. It could be, but only if I was playing. Only if I was playing. I know exactly how to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not a single home run in game one. Not one. Okay, let's uh, let's get into game two, because uh, yeah, you don't, yes, scoping scoping out draft choices. That's what it's all about. Because obviously these two teams are going to have to uh, have to drop star players. A, a game for the ages. I think that's a game to be forgotten. That last one. Let's uh, let's crack on. Game two of three. Cheerio 
can win the series. I think we, we all figured that out for ourselves. We're at the Swagger Centre. There's a bit of a haze in the afternoon air. Uh, and uh, what have we got? We've got any obvious changes in the lineup? I don't think we have. We'll see. We'll, we'll see as the game progresses. Is this another game with the same teams? Yes, it's the World Series, Amy. Um, the, it's the best of three. This is the final. And uh, first, first team to win two games wins the whole thing. Jerry Gold's there, notching up a very quick early strikeout. Interestingly enough, trivia fans. Um, oh, hold everything. That's Jack Mercury. And he's, he's popped it over the fence. Cheerio have come to play. Which is what they're supposed to do. Jack Mercury has bonked it. That one's gone. Flipping murky, flipping Jack. He was rubbish when he played for me. He got a couple of home runs. He was still rubbish. But it's because Jerry Goals is no ruddy good. Well, I better, I better save the trivia for when Bunsen are batting then. Because nothing happens when they play. Uh, that one will be out. Rasputin chucking it over to Bumson, who's playing first today. Have they just mixed around all of their positions? I don't, I don't understand why they would do that. It's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, we're looking at Daphne Teflon. Made play of the game, I would say, in game one. Daphne, uh, with that remarkable catch out by the fence. There's the, uh, there's the full count. Okay. Can goals hold it together? No, he can't. There he goes. Uh, he is prone to walking, people. His accuracy takes a nosedive uh, when he's got three uh, three balls already thrown. And he gives up the walk, which is not what you want to see. These plastic swans had a bit of a stinker in the first game, but maybe she can uh, maybe she can access some talent this time around. Well, goals is he's off target again. And again. And that's another walk. Jerry Goals is proving to be a bit of a liability. He's given up a home run. He's given up two walks. His confidence is going to be uh, zipping around the U-bend anytime soon. Wait for it, though. Wait for it. It's still early doors. Uh, despite the fact that we've got some, some lively action early in the game. That's three balls in a row. And Jerry Goals once again... Is, uh, is looking likely to just throw this one somewhere terrible. They were attempting a double steal there, which would have been it. They're trying it again. Anyway, he's out. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's gone. Well, a, a, a run there for Cheerio. Nice. Better than we saw in the last game in terms of early running. And here's Jack Rasputin. Susie Mutton has no accuracy at all. None. Which would mean if the, uh, the batting team were just to stand there for a bit, they'd probably get a few players on base, which is something they can't claim to have seen in the last game. That one's been popped up there by Perry Salinas. I have to say, this away uniform, the home uniform, beg your pardon, that they're wearing is awful. I might need to have another look at that. Yeah, it's not it's not a good uniform, the, the, the medic's home, home jersey. It's not working for me. You're playing white when you're at home, you're playing colours when you're away. Uh, three balls, two strikes. And uh, that's a hit. Right there, runners now first and second. I can't see this pitcher staying in for too long. Not if she continues to pitch like this anyway. Tonya Spangle next up. I think this is probably going to be the, uh, the medic's best opportunity. And they've stolen second and third. This is the Bumson Medic's best opportunity. They have no out so far. Uh, Susie Mutton playing like Mutton. Three balls in a row. Strike one. Tony Spangle just needs to hold a nerve. Just needs to hold a nerve. Swung at nothing. That one was so far inside that it's going to need stitches afterwards as a trained surgeon tries to extract the ball. There's ball number one. It's Donna Baps now batting. Pretty solid player by the uh, by the numbers. And she's going to get herself out. But there's a run. Bumson have their first run of the World Series. And they'll be jolly pleased about it. Here's Bunk 
uh, who has a runner in scoring position. Bumson could take the lead here, and they are doing. Bernard Dunk there with the base hit, and Bumson are up 2-1. to one. All action, first innings. Yes, sirree. Yes, sirree. Here's Tyrone. And there's a pitch out there, afraid of it. They've got a runner on first. They're anticipating a steal. Don't and don't steal. Just don't do it. It's not worth it. Ball two, it's inside. Susie Mutton is tense. Uh, ball three is outside. Tyrone, he knows what's up. He's going like, yeah, these are these are all off target, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. None of these are going to manage to throw the first, okay. Yeah, but I mean, you've got quite a large strike zone there. And that'll be a walk then. That will be a walk. Tyrone makes his base. Runners first and second is Bumson. Still very pleased about that court judgment. And that one's in the dirt. Somehow, the uh, coaching staff... Oh! Oh, boy. Good catch. I was about to say the coaching staff at Cheerio hadn't, hadn't clocked that, uh, that their pitcher is a massive liability. Here's uh, Tallulah Gibbering Sponge, who we didn't get to see in the first game. But we are seeing now, play shortstop as a default position. What position she's playing today is anybody's guess. Uh, but she's not going to get very far on that one. As Tonya Spangle whips it over to Bumson, and that's out number one. His bird dog. Has he got his anger issues under control? Hard to say. Uh, wait for it. Wait for it. That one's slightly down the line, but it didn't work. Strike two. There's the ball. Showing some good judgment. And then showing some fairly weak batting. And that's out number two. Well, here is Susie Mutton. Are they going to sub her? No, they're keeping her in. Madness. The insanity of it. Okay, fine. Yeah. She's rubbish. This is a terrible, terrible picture. And they're letting her have a bat. Apparently she can get some, some power behind her hit. But no. No, she couldn't f hit water if she fell out of a boat. Um, okay, right. Well, at the end of uh, that, no no extra scoring for Cheerio. Bumson's still in the lead 2-1. to one, And it's Barbara the Butcher who's, uh, who's first up to face the mighty Susie Mutton. And uh, we'll be out. Yeah. Here's Jerry Goals. He's got a big wide face as Jerry Goals. And uh, based on those sunglasses, it's hard to say whether he's, uh, he's actually uh, legitimately blind or not. Um, it looks like he could be. Uh, he's out anyway, but he's a pitcher, so I mean, what, what do you expect? So, even Susie Mutton can get out a pitcher. Here's Rasputin. Two outs for the medics. And they're looking like the medics of the last game. But maybe they can look like the medics of this game. Or indeed, a game where they play well. That's three balls. That one's popped upwards. Someone is going to catch it. At the end of two. Bumser Medics two, Cherry Incorporated one. Interesting piece of trivia for you here is... Uh, as Butterfly Porkchop steps up... Good tash um, is that these two teams between them have contributed uh, over over sixty players to the Dozerverse. Sixty members of the Dozerverse have come from these two teams uh, because of their origin stories. I was thinking about this earlier on. I was going, crikey, they they all have an awful lot of characters that they've uh, they've introduced into the canon. And uh, there you go. I thought I thought you might find that interesting. No? All right. Well, stuff you then. Here's uh, Jerry Goals facing off against Marcel Purpose. Marcel Purpose, on a good day, is a good batter. Is today that day? They've got two outs already. In the, in the, the time it took to tell one very mediocre anecdote, uh, they've already got two members of the team out. There's ball three. Full count. What's it going to be, Jerry? Well, it's going to be a lackluster pop fly, fly pop. Outs. And uh, the Cheerio still failing to make any headway, despite facing off against a pretty lousy pitcher. 
as uh, speaking of which Susie Mutton's here again and facing off against Perry Salinas who, uh, who managed to get a base hit last time around which is nice <sighs> okay World Series is the best of seven yeah but who has the time for a best of seven I felt that a best of three was sufficient Jack Mercury there with the throw out out number one is Tonya Spangle she got nothing from her first at bat but she'll be hoping for more She's clearly hoping for more. And meanwhile, Mutton is in the zone. Which zone? Ah, all of them. All of the zones. Ah, what a surprise. Yeah, I know. Yeah, what a what a dreadful surprise that was. Ah, I can't. I, I've no idea where I'm throwing it. I'm just chucking the ball. Yeah. Oh, no. Ooh, that one looked dangerous. The umpire's just stood there going, oh, whatever. And... A needless steal there pays off. Because if they just wait... I mean, we're coming up on 50 pitches for Mutton now. So she's she's going to start getting a little bit tired. Why are you swinging? What's the matter with you people? That one's up. Yeah. And caught. Out number two. Well, you'd have to say that the medics are just chucking away golden opportunities here. Here's Bunk, who got a run batted in from his last at bat. What's he going to do with this one? What indeed? That's why we watch the game, so that we can find out the answer to that and many other questions that are somewhat related to that. Over that, why are you swinging? What the hell is wrong with you? Well, that's the side retired, and at the end of three, it's 2-1. The medics are up. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Here's Jerry Goals pitching up against Daphne Teflon. I have no further stories about either of these players. I've told them all already. Neither of them have done anything exciting for a while. Daphne's on tilt. She's swinging at everything. Uh, there's ball three. Ooh, excitement moment. Or not. Come on. Yep. All right, anytime you like. And that one, oh, no, no, no. 60 pitches deep into Jerry Goals' arsenal of pitching. And still, no, oh, eventually gets a strikeout. Daphne's lobbed the bat into the crowds, which will be a treat for one lucky fan when they get out of emergency room. Ah, uh, but, uh, yeah, there's plastic swans now trying to do something with anything, to anything, with anything. No, no, swinging at a lot of old rubbish. It's gone a Rasputin, slams it into uh, the glove of Bumson, and uh, that's another out. Steve Mastodon, his confidence is, uh, is not, is not great. That was, that was your pitch, Steve, you missed it. No, he goes, no, that's my pitch. No, that, no, you didn't hit it well, though, did you? That that one also could have been your pitch. He just had to finish the swing of the bat. But he's gone. No sooner did Cheerio Incorporated take the field as they, they sit back down again. Oh. Well, now they take the field because they're defending. Well, whatever. You know what I mean. Do I? Yeah, probably. Here's Tyrone. Expectations high. Delivery zero. Oh, yeah, oh, a little bit of a shamed foot sweepage going on there. You're not the one who should be ashamed, Miss Mutton. Uh, it is your coaching staff who should be ashamed for having not sat you down, brought your contract out in front of you, and just kind of gone, yeah, we were joking. And there's, there's a double play, which is how she's able to continue living. It's ridiculous. I'd have put 12 past her before, by, by now. It would be uh, just this madness. Why why are we being represented by such a stinker of a team? I, the, the BDP should be here, not stinking up the joint and lighting up the place. Uh, waxing chumps like candles. Huh? Right. Here's gibbering sponge. Uh, let's see what she's got. Jerry Goals has pitched 70 today. 
he's, and these the pitches he's throwing now are no better than the ones he was doing in the first inning. He's still pretty mediocre. And that's a nice hit. Okay. All right. We've got a, we've got a runner. For Cheerio, his bird dog. Nothing from his at-bat. Oh, I call it as I see it. Oh, I, do, I, do, I very much call it as I see it, Eileen. And, uh, I'm... I'm, I'm despondent at the lack of quality from these two alleged championship quality teams. I am not seeing championship quality play here. I'm seeing, uh, I'm seeing Cub Scout quality play. Uh, that one's going to be caught there out in the middle of nowhere. And it is somewhere out in the mist. Donna Baps made the catch. Well, it's Susie Mutton. Maybe this time they'll still, no, they're still not substituting her. I don't understand. Yeah, strike two. Yeah, don't look pleased with yourself, Jerry. There was, there was, I mean, that was automatic. You could have gone a hand into the ball and gone, there you go, hit that as far as you like, and she would have missed. Should have thrown it up to go and hit the ball, and uh, it would have gone over her head or something. That's the level of accuracy we're dealing with here. Oh, stone me, an actual base hit. Uh, that's not bad at all. Who's trying to get me on the bat phone? Okay. Uh, sorry, no, non-essential bat phone call there. Uh, what are we looking at? Murky Jack, runners first and second, two outs. Uh, Cheerio have an opportunity here if they can take advantage of a flagging Jerry Goals. I mean, Jerry's goal is obviously to get to 100 pitches. I would very much recommend against it. This could be a walk. It's not a walk. That's a belter of a hit. That's two bases of anybody's money. And there's the tying run. Jerry Goals giving away everything. And I think, uh, yeah, there we go. He's, he's out here. And we're looking at Cat Hardcore again. Barbara the Butcher's going as well because they clearly think, I don't know, that... Uh, they, they don't need their catcher anymore. I don't know. I'd, uh, I, I couldn't tell you. Uh, but here's Marcel Purpose. They've got runners at the corners. Further scoring is possible, but only if they can get past Cat, which they cannot. I've had enough of this bat. No, clearly the bat's fault. Chiro have tied it up, but of course, Bumson batting second. <sighs> well, this is... Uh, it's an important inning for Bumson. I mean, they're all important at this stage because they do trail in the series one to nothing. Lose this game, lose the series. And there's nothing happening there. That's no good. Nope. Ben Turnco. Ladies and gentlemen, nothing. Is uh, Jackie Rasputin. Jackie? No. We're, meanwhile, we're still looking at Susie Mutton. Just in case... <laughs> Just in case you were wondering, that's two balls in a row that have just kind of gone, I'm out of here. Yeah, Rasputin kind of goes, <coughs> you know what? I'll just hold my ground. <coughs> right, well, okay. There's a there's a runner on base. What's going to happen this time? No, it's anybody's guess. Oh, we're going to try and steal, are we? Okay, it worked. All right. Bumson mean business. That one's up. You might as well head back, son. Yeah. There you go. Out number two. Well, they need a, a good base hit here from Tonya Spangle. And uh, and there's a there's a run potential going on. Alternatively, just wait and you'll get on base. Just wait. Just, just hang on in there. There you go. <gasps> How surprising. Yeah, I didn't bounce off his glove for once. Ridiculous. Here's Donna Baps. Donna. Just, just wait. I'm rooting for Bumson in this game. Oh, no. Don't bother just waiting. She went for it. We're going for the tying run. No, the go-ahead run, even. And we have it. I'm rooting for Bumson, so we go to game three, see. Here's Bunk. They've had enough of it. Susie Mutt and his history. Monte Rico is coming in to try and save the Dave Cheerio Incorporated. 
And he had a he had a pretty good uh well he only played one inning, but he, he did quite well in that one inning. Let's look at his numbers. Yeah. He is that kind of pitcher, you're not wrong. Yeah. Okay, the crowd do not like trying to pick off the runner ahead of time. Bunk there, well and truly foxed by a demon of a pitch. And a nice catch there by the shortstop. And uh, with that run, the medics are back in the lead. Three to two. It's a close one. Cat Hardcore pitching to Daf Teflon. The pitches are coming in. I mean, the thing about Cat Hardcore, she may she may lack any kind of bendy pitches or ha 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 how I Moriarty you with my uh, with my prowess at the stealthy pitches. No, but she will lob it flipping hard, um, and and it seems to sort of work sometimes. Yeah, look at that, like a rocket. I mean, not quite on target. Or that one. Cat, I was just bigging you up. How about actually pitching it properly? That was put a dent in the safety rail. There it goes. Yeah, yeah. Cat Hardcore. Standing there. Nodding. Going. I'm throwing it hard. Here we go. Uh, let's have a look at the old number one. There's, uh, there's number one. She's got two pitches in her arsenal. One of them goes fast. The other one doesn't work. Oh, great hit. Off the glove of Bumson. And that will be a base hit. Okay, it's a uh, gibbering sponge. I know it says gibbering song on a player card, but that's uh, that's only because I ran out of letters. Now, is this one going off the fence? No, it's not. It's out number three. Cheerio are put away. An opportunity there. They almost, almost had something big going on there. Almost something big. Uh, Nav Daddy, we're in uh, game two. Uh, sixth inning, bottom of the sixth. Uh, Bumson up three to two, trailing one game to nothing. So Bumson must win this one for the series to continue. And uh, Monty Rico is all over the place with these pitches. Uh, and, uh, there, there you go, there's five. Oh no, no, no. The full count is present. And uh, Tyrone is going to do something. He's going to walk. That's what he's going to do. Tyrone taking his base. Here's Bumson. He's 0 for 2. Alright. Well, as long as Tyrone doesn't try to steal, because he is slow. They're trying all the clever stuff here. But, uh, but at the moment, it's not yielding any results. But that's two strikes in a row. Bumson there gets a piece of that one, but it's gone foul. Oh. And that one's not gone foul. That's gone good. Tyrone, round second. He's approaching third. He rounds third. He's going for home. And Tyrone will take the further go-ahead run. Bumson now up four to two. When they needed it the most. Cats hardcore the pitcher. They are still no outs in this inning. Don't bunt. Seriously, don't do it. Don't. Don't. Cat hardcore's going to bunt, everybody. What a disaster. Yeah, well, I mean, she's out, obviously, but they did. I'm an okay advance the runner to third, and that's a positive thing. But you've, you've got to... Uh, ben Turncoat has got to achieve something. And he's just not the kind of player who achieves anything. And to look at him, he wears the expression of a man who never achieves anything. He's out. Is uh, Jazzy Jack Rasputin sporting the big hair and the big beards? Base hit, and Bumson Medics will have this one well in hand. Uh, there's an odd choice there when you've already got two balls thrown, and that's a walk. Okay, Monte Rico, supposedly a good-ish pitcher, isn't. Not so far. No. Here's Perry Salinas. I'll stop it. We don't care. Just because you can't throw it at the batter particularly well. Doesn't mean you can kind of go, and now I throw to first. Watch me. There's ball two. His accuracy is not that... Oh, yeah, let's do that again. That works. Yep. Oh, so sneaky. Strike one. Yeah. And... Nope. Okay. Two strikes, two balls. Oh, Salinas just sits there. 
as uh, some is straight as an arrow comes down the middle of the strike zone and she couldn't be bothered at the end of six medics up four to two here's bird dog captain rage himself uh is he going to do anything or is he going to be really really cross well at the moment he's, he's fine uh, but there's ball three Cat Hardcore not doing well. That one's probably going to be caught out with great ease. And it's out number one. Here comes Monty Rico. I think they sub him. Yep. Diagnosis Margaret, who is an excellent pinch hitter, is coming in to have a go. Oh, this is a... Uh, oh, this is... Oh, oh. Hang on. I've, I was going to... I had some narrative. I was going to say Diagnosis Margaret, obviously, originally from the Bumps and Medics. Something of a grudge match opportunity going, but it's over already. And now I'm just left calling the flipping play-by-play -play again. And I'm, I mean, you know, there's only so much of that you can make sound interesting. Once in a while, you need a bit of cut. No, get off the field. Yeah, don't chuck your bat at the camera. It's expensive. Right, well, Diagnosis Margaret is gone, and they're bringing in probable legs as a replacement. And uh, Cheerio failing to make headway there at the top of the seventh. Hey, here's Tonya Spangle, probable legs pitching. A good pitcher if ever I saw one. Uh, but are we going to see some good pitching from a good pitcher? Or are we just going to see some pitching? Could be either of those things. It's ball two. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. That's that's what he was saying there. I, I don't know if you could lip read or not, but that was that was what he was saying. And uh, we're now looking at uh, Donabaps. Moderately confident. Moderately everything, frankly. Yeah, it's no good hitting it over the top row of the banker seats in the crowd. That doesn't get you any prizes. Yeah, you're out. Go on, sit down. Here's Bunk. One of three. Two outs. Bottom of the seventh. Oh, dearie me. I mean, that, not only was that a bad swing, it was a bad swing as well. Oof. No, wait for it. Two balls, two strikes. That one went straight past his ear. And he's broken his favourite bat. The backup bat hope, though, clearly. Yeah. Oh, oh well, it hurt his kneecap. His patella will be feeling that one tomorrow morning. I can tell you that. Is MVP of the game, Murky Jack. Who never played this well for me. No. Flipping sell out. No, he was rubbish when he was a bulldozer, but now he's he's a Cheerio. He's you know fortified with vitamins and iron. More than likely. Almost a great hit there from Murky, but not this time. He, he did stick one up in that corner previously and made things happen. He's also stuck one over the fence today. Look at this. He's come to hit everything. He doesn't care. He's just not in the mood. Whatever you've got, Hardcore, he's hitting it. And that'll be a base hit. He's definitely your star player of the afternoon. I'm calling it now. Calling it right now. We need a drink break after game two. You've got it, Mark. If we go to game three, I will give you a uh, feel free to take a breather. Lots of substitutions going on that I'm missing. Uh, what do we got? Oh, they've just shuffled some people around. Okay, all right, fine. Well, we'll see them in due course then. Uh, here's El Smiters pitching for the medics. And a strikeout. Ooh, dangerous. Have they? Is this a? Are they brought in a closer? No, don't. No, she's a starter reliever. Okay. El Smiter's starting strong here. That one maybe not quite so strong. Or that one. Put it on target. No. No. Let's walk them. Daft Teflon gets a walk to first. His plastic swans still failing to hit anything at all. Uh, has got a walk in this game. Smiters suddenly is uh, unable to find the centre of the uh, the strike zone there. That one's going to end up foul, but could be caught with a dive. Salinas can't be bothered. Oh, Daft Teflon would have dived. Yep. 
Daft Teflon would have had that. I tell you what, if she comes up for sale, I might even have her. I'll, 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 I'll sign her. She's a good player. Uh, Steve Mastodon's been taken off. They're bringing in Jeff from IT. Really? He didn't play all that well in the first game. But I, did. I mean, this is the coaching decision that's been made. This is the same coaches that kept Susie Mutton in for six innings. That's out. And that's out. And so's that. And uh, that leaves Cheerio Incorporated with just one more inning available to him to try and score some points. Yeah, that's how it works. Here's Exponential Tyrone. Uh, uh, Jeff from IT is going to go and sit back down again. And they're bringing in Sharon Mental uh, to, uh, to play catcher. Tyrone, three at bats, three walks from the game so far. Legs is a far better pitcher, though. So uh, maybe Tyrone will actually have to do something. Or not. Yes. Yes, we're losing. But I claim it anyway. Here's Bumson. I mean, you'd have to say that as captain of the team, you would hope that Bumson was, uh, had, had turned up to do something big. Rather than strike out in three, which he just did. His franchise oblique, who's been brought in. He's got a hip shimmy. Uh, you know what they say about hip shimmy players. Arthritis in their 40s. You know it. But uh, he doesn't care. Bosh. Not even close to being fair, that one. But he has... Oh, I was going to say you'd, you'd uh, announced your presence with authority. But never mind. Uh, forget about it. Well, at the end of eight, the medics are up 4-2. 4-2 at the end of eight. Can they hold on and force the third game? Well, Smiters so far is not that remarkable. A sliding effort from Oblique. I like it. Uh, but his hips lied to him that time around and he couldn't quite make the play. Uh, but only gave up one base. His Bird Dog. Nothing. Nothing from Bird Dog so far. Everything hinges on Smiters. If they've got a closer, now would be the time to bring him on. I'd say. Because Smiters is not getting it done. That first strikeout was misleading. Since then, nothing. And that's a double. And uh, here we go, rounding third. That's going to be one run. Cheerio closing the gap. Ah, uh, Bumson about to throw it away. Uh, probable legs is gone. They're bringing Miss Florida in to, uh, to pinch hit. Cheerio Incorporated bringing out every trick that they know how to play. Ah, pitch out there. Ah, tricky. Just, just get them at the plate. Don't muck about with this. Haha, -ha. I'm not letting you. I'm not letting you run. Come on, Smiters. Get it on target. Okay, well, that actually works quite positively. That'll be an out. We do have a runner on third now, which is the tying run. The tying run is currently on third. Smiters. St still a load of rubbish. Take her off. And there it is. There's the tying run. What a disaster for Bumson. What a disaster. After two games with it balanced on a knife edge, they've coughed it up in the space of one inning. Well. No, that's, it, that's not going to help you. It's not good. Pitching, that'll help you. Smiter's confidence is dead. Uh, and this is, good. This, is about to, this is about to get really ugly. Oh, it's not. No, there's a double play. Fortunate, fortunate that things were about to make a turn for the absolutely horrendous there. Miss Florida sits down, Raimundo, bang it, is going to come in and try and put the medics to bed quickly, in which case we'll go to extra innings. Okay, now we know already that bang it did a, did a bang up job in the last game, coming in as a reliever. Uh, but we've got Ben Turncoat, who's rubbish. You're, you're hopeless, Turncoat. Hopeless. Here's Jack Rasputin. Well, this is this is cause for some op op uh, optimism. That'd be a word. And nope. Caught out by the shortstop. Two outs. Perry Salinas next up. Decent player. I don't think she's got the power to get it over the fence, which is what we need here. Strike two. 
Oh yeah. Da oh, voila! What a load of rubbish. We're going to extra innings, friends. Has uh, has bumps and chuck it all out the window. Deary me. They are blowing hot and cold, but mostly cold. Uh, here's Marcel Purpose with a little a little trickler to start us off. Nothing doing there. Nothing doing there. Is Daft Teflon two walks and two strike outs probably. Well, two that didn't really work. Smiter's still on the mound. I'm sure they'll dump her when it comes time to uh, to bat again. Oh dear. What is it we're keeping in these duff pitchers? Well, and final, they've heard me. Justice Lemon is coming in to try and do something. Your guess is as good as mine. Uh, my guess is it's not going well. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, that was nice. That one was that was a good pitch, but no, it was uh, it was slapped off to the side by plastic swans. Uh, there's ball one. Yeah, and that's a strikeout. Good confidence. Oh, just just drops the bat in shock. It's Sharon Mental. Our first chance to have a look at the catcher here. Oh, uh, JTN chucks two bucks in the bucket and asks. Uh, how long has the longest game been? I think I've made it to 12, I think, is the longest I've ever gone into extra innings. Uh, anyway, uh, cheerio, unable to break the deadlock there. And uh, and we look at Tonya Spangle as, uh, as Bumson try and win this one. Uh, that's not going to do it. No. And uh, I'll tell you something for nothing. Raimondo, bang it, is looking tired. If they can, uh, if they can just avoid uh, too many mistakes, that's a good hit. And it didn't quite make the fence. Is Justice Lemon? They keep him in, surely. Yes. You, know, you don't start taking out your pitchers now. That we're into extra. Justice Lemon with a big hit, but uh, it's going to be caught. Oh, he's not caught. The pitcher there with a double. Impressive stuff, and all of a sudden, the medics have an opportunity. A light shines upon them, it falls upon Bunk to try and turn this opportunity into prizes. I'm very excited. Oh, oh, dearie me, referee, and uh, and that's going to blow the confidence of Raimundo. Bang it! Oh, it's all happening. Yeah, they're taking him straight out. Helga Jump Jet. Is going to come in. A C- minus rated pitcher. Yeah, that'll do it. And uh, Tyrone with the base hit. Don't chance it. Bases are now loaded. Are now... Bases are loaded. And it's Bumson to bat. They're taking out the captain. And they brought in Justine Underworld. Holy mackerel. Patience. Patience. A double play here would be an absolute disaster. Uh, we've got <laughs> we've got a strikeout done against the Whiffer, and there's the winning run. <coughs> it went to extra innings, but uh, the medics managed to just cling on for victory there. Oh boy! Well, that that's the kind of game we want. That's what the first game should have been, and the good news is there will be. A third game after these short messages which is me basically running through the stats uh, I'll, I'll pause if you want to go get a drink or do a bathroom now's your time here's some stats here's some more stats oh who stunk the place up let's have a look I still say Jackie Boy Mercury is going to get the big star yeah, anyone with a good batting average? Bird Dog, actually, yeah, had, a, had a 400 batting average. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so did Justine Underworld, but only played one, one inning. So that doesn't really count. No. All right, uh, let's look at the pitching. Bang it has awarded the loss. Unjustly, I would say. I'd give that to Susie Ruddy Mutton. She was a complete catastrophe. Uh, and Justice Lemming gets a win. Your three stars of the game, Jack Mercury, Exponential Tyrone, and Jackie Boy Rasputin.
Lots of jacks going on. And a Tyrone. Weather? No, that's that's on the Saturday night stream, Kev. We don't do weather in the baseball. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. No, 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 no. No. Right, uh, what should we look at in the in the meantime? I'm gonna I'm gonna scroll through a few teams. Uh if I had some if I had some elevator music to show you, I would do. Here's uh, here's the full lineup of, of the bulldozer power. Uh go get a drink or, or do the bathroom. Uh, game game will resume in two and a half minutes. I'll go tell I'm gonna have a little drink in myself. Oh yeah. Ah Yeah. Ashley, now's a good time to introduce the uh, the lineups, the lines up for uh, for the forthcoming season. We've got new teams coming in. Oh, it's forgotten the new teams. Oh, no, because they're not in this database. They're in the new database. Oh, they are. Yeah. Well, let's just start at the top and there you go. Here's, uh, here's the beekeepers. If you want to have a look at the rosters, you're, you're more than welcome to do so. Uh, Alfred has chucked a fiver in the bucket. Thank you, Alfred. Uh, putting the cost of a minor league hot dog towards the late tax. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice. Uh, yeah, there you go. Beekeepers. Yeah. Yeah. Next. Yeah. Just, you, oh, you're doing this in such a slick fashion. Thank you. Here's the Sea Raiders. The sea Raiders. Yeah. Just in case. Just for those of you who want to know all the players on each team. I could do it. I could do it here. So you can look at the, look at the cards. Look at Lucky Steve. He's a looker. Lucky Steve there. What a handsome lad. Uh, is the, uh, here's the roadies. You know them, you love them, you play them, you lose to them. Certainly in my case, anyway. And uh, they're, all, they're all there. Steve Satan, their, uh, their top pitcher. It's a good name, Steve Satan. I like it. Yeah, who's next? BDP, we know them already. Uh, here are the medics we're seeing. And the Cheerio Incorporated. Here's Colonel School. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there are some players. I'm pretty sure Colonel School uh, uh, stunk the place up this season. And uh, looking at this assorted uh, collection of players, now you know why. Uh, right, there's uh, Faleywood Hills. Nice uniform. Nice uniform, Faleywood Hills. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. They played They played okay, Faleywood. They played okay. They did all right. Uh, Grazer Ridge. Similar uniform. Very similar uniform, except they've got green instead of blue. Still a lot of yellow going on. You know, uh, yes, that is that is a lot of yellow. A lot of yellow in there. Uh, then you've got the Grant Auto Group. Yep. And there's some players for the Grant Auto Group. Who can forget the likes of Madame Pompadour? Hmm? No. Well, I can't. No. Uh, here's the Colonel Space Agency, and uh, led by I don't know who they're no, Bingo, isn't it? Bingo Hazmat, the uh, the captain of the Colonel Space Agency. Yeah, uh, Grazer Ridge apparently started the season well, ended quite poorly. Thank you, good knowledge. There, I I rarely pay attention to the other teams except when I'm playing them. Uh, here's the Lingo Blend All Stars, and uh, yeah, I, I've got a, I I don't know what it is. But Jenny J. Sonar sticks out for me. Uh, then, of course, they do have Chet Vacant, who was the original leading pitcher for uh, for Bulldozer Power. Not anymore, though. Nah, that's Big Des. Big Des. Here come the Nomads. Oh, yeah. It's the Nomads. Who would be their captain? Hold on. I'll find them. I'll find the captain. Oh, there'll be a captain in there somewhere. They, uh, I'd say it was Barry Turnips, but it's not. No. No, it's not. Maybe they don't have one. Maybe they don't need one. Here's the Axemen. Yep. Good. Mean of failure, of course. Uh, closely related to Ulysses' failure. By way of uh, legal paperwork, obviously. Um, and uh, they're a team. Oh, uh, yeah, they are. Look at this. Banjo slapdash. Steady on, ladies. Steady on. Uh, right. Peninsula Transports. I hear that many of them are waving, uh, which is about all they can do because they're ruddy hopeless at baseball. Uh, Mandy Starlin, of course, uh, the shortstop going on there. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to run through all the teams and then we'll get back under under the uh, under the action. Uh, here we go. The, the Picks Creek Miners, 
resplendent in their pink uniforms. Uh, Darcy Darcy uh, plays for them, of course, as you know. Um, along with other people as well. Yeah. Just, uh, just a, a fine, a fine selection of players who, if they get transferred, I'm going to be honest with you, they might end up looking slightly different. I only maintain the appearance of players who have at one time played for uh, BDP, such as the legend that is Tintin Hollywood, our original first baseman, third baseman, baseman. Um, yeah, no, I, I had to get rid of him early. Not because he wasn't any good, quite the opposite. I just had too many good players on the team. Bit of a shame. Uh, where are we going next? Well, we're going to the Red Star Pathfinders. And uh, it's, uh, I mean, what can you say about them? Well, they've got a hammock sister on the team. That's always a good sign. They've got Carlo the Curious, who played for us originally. Was our, uh, was our number one reliever uh, back in the day there. Yeah, number one reliever. Here's the Sports Ball Union. Sports Ball, of course, back in action tomorrow. Obviously, nobody will see that, but I mean, it's ha it's a thing that's happening. Um, and uh, yeah, there's uh, there's them. I, I believe they also had a bit of a stinker of a season this year. I seem to recollect. Uh, yeah, Monkey Cage was a member of the Fun Bus. Okay, that's worth knowing. Uh, his uh, his star dozer, Human Resources. Uh, uh, Marjorie Sinister is their team captain. That much I do know, because she was captain of the ship there ever so briefly. Where's uh, Where's Party Boy, or is he no longer on the team? No, he's been sold. Crikey! All right, Party Boy's not on the team. All right, okay. Well, where's he Where's he ended up? Uh, here are the Steganorts, led of course by Steg Stegerson, the left fielder. Uh, he's got big hair and a dubious tash, and. Uh, uh, legitimate blind sunglasses. Yeah. No. Uh, uh, no, it's... Uh, it's uh, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. I'm surprised a party boy was sold. There he is. He's playing for the fun bus, look. There he is. He's up here. And he does look like a party boy, doesn't he? Doesn't he just? Shamrock, Bubble Jet, and Bam Bam Puckeye, uh, and Wilbur Carface, and Mars Mullo. Is the Sunshine Fun Bus nothing but BDP cast-offs? I think it is. I think someone's just hoovering up former star players. Why would you do that when you have the likes of Tiffany Hoover bag on your team? Why indeed? Why? Here are the Ergmelenflex Chroniclers. Uh, Mulawab, the verbose, is their team captain. But I'm not saying... Oh, there he is. a picture. Ah, uh, yes. He's, uh, he's, their, he's their lead player. And, uh, and is accompanied by several other players. Uh, and that will take us down to the Wretched Minstrels, uh, where you're looking at uh, Scowling, Frank Fiasco, and Scooter Buam, and uh, Butterfingers, Vectrix, uh, Pingo Specific. It's full of good players. There are many good players. The ones I just named, maybe not so much. Uh, but their pitching unit is appalling. Appalling. The worst lineup of pitchers I think I've ever seen. And that might explain why they are not present in today's game. And then you just got the beekeepers, which is where we started out. Pretty sure that's where we started out. There's Papal Event Horizon, look. Hey, he used to play for us. He's good, too. It's good. It's very good, Papal. Very good. Right. Back to the action. You spy... Oh, the prod. <clears throat> I don't give the prod enough, enough credit, you know, because the prod was our closing pitcher. And uh, and he used to just uh, he used to just get it done. He used to come in and just dominate as a closer. Game three, ladies and gentlemen, the clincher. This one for all of the marbles and several of the tiddlywinks. Uh, we're at the Shaka Sports Stadium again. Uh, Vera Contagion. Oh, come on, voice. Hold with it. <clears throat> Vera Contagion and Lance Splendid, your pitchers, to lead the way. Okay, here we go. Right. It's a bit dingy here. Splendid with the first pitch of the day. And it's out. Jack Mercury, for some reason, is playing first base. Don't know why. He just is. Two pitches... Two outs. 
Well, things could not be going better for Cheerio at this stage. Uh, Lance is making a mockery of the whole thing, but here's, here's Tyrone, who I bigged up at the start of the session. Is he going to deliver? I would say no. Yep. Well, that took a grand total of five pitches to get the entire team out. Here's Jeff from IT. Now, obviously, if Cheerio Incorporated win this, they are in the same division as me. And, and it therefore gives some value. They put me out of the, uh, of the playoffs. And therefore, say, you know, losing to the overall winner, is uh, there's no, no bad thing there. It's just later in the day. I think we've got Shadow rather than Smog uh, going on. Uh, but we're looking at the, uh, at the pitching of Vera Contagion. And uh, it's uh, it's Murky Jack who's doing the batting. And he's fouling them all off all over the place. It's ball two. Vera unable to find the target there and gets a strikeout. Oh dear, Jack. Oh dear, oh dear. It's not gone well for you this time, has it? Here's uh, Tallulah, gibbering sponge. And uh, that will be that then. Out number three. Well, at the end of one, nothing. Not one. Oh, we've got some score predictions going on. Uh, we've got uh, two in favour of Cheerio, two in favour of the Medics so far. I don't believe either of you. I think you've all got a score wrong. one nothing Medics, I think, is the most plausible scoreline you've suggested. Uh, here's Tonya Spangle. We're uh, looking at a 2-1 count at the moment. Splendid unable to, uh, to replicate his performance at the first inning, but that was another strikeout. Salinas has got a home run and six runs batted in over the course of the playoffs, but uh, but hasn't really hasn't really had much of a performance today. And being caught out there is a reflection of that. Is Bambi Severe back in the lineup again? Can she justify her position? Well, two strikes so far. That one's that one's gone to a ball. Oh, we got some more. We got some more predictions going in. Uh, BDP's in the medics division. You sure? I'm fairly certain it was. I'm fairly sure Cheerio was. Uh, no, 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 no. no I, I got knocked out by that. Oh, I can't remember. Uh, anyway, the it looks like we are favouring Cheerio Incorporated uh, as a uh, as a collective. No. Nothing, nothing much happening, and uh, that will be another out, and that's the medics done for their second at bat. Well, this is strongly reminiscent of the first game. I don't want it to be like the first game. I'd like it to be like the, the second game. The second game was good. The first game wasn't good. That one's popped straight up. We're we're looking at the first game again, aren't we? Certainly seems that way. I think it's because we've got some A-grade pitching talent going on, rather than some pillar who can't hit anything. Couldn't hit a barn door if they were sat on the handle? Sure, that'll do. There's a base hit, look. <clears throat> okay, base hit, yeah. Strong, strong base hit. Okay, we've got a couple of Bumson fans sat there, and I think they're living in a fantasy land. Uh, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling the medics. I'm not feeling it. I'm feeling this is a Cheerio win. It's not going to be an exciting Cheerio win. They don't have the players. Um, but what they do have is defence. Oh, nice piece of fielding there. Out number two. Taking the lead runner. And uh, that got it done. Is Steve Mastodon. He's a little bit under the weather. But he's fit enough to play. Who was the crowd favourite? The crowd favourite, uh, well, in the poll, ahead of the game, the medics came out on top. Uh, but in the recent round of uh, who's going to wins in the chat, uh, it is Cheerio Incorporated who are favoured. Uh, we are, of course, playing at home for Cheerio. If that makes any difference to you, that's out number three. Two innings down, no score. Goody gumdrops. Come on, people, light it up a bit. I want some thrills. Here comes Babs Butcher. 
and uh, she's going to try and make some headway for Bumson, uh, but uh, she's not a very good player. No offence, Babs, but you're not. No. That one's a little bit out. We weren't knocked out by Lingo Blend. We weren't. Otherwise, otherwise they'd be in the fight. We were knocked out in the semis. Oh, no, hold on. Were we knocked out in the quarters? I think we were knocked out in the quarters. We'll look it up after the game. I can't remember. I've wiped the season from my memory. <clears throat> um, what's going on with Vera Contagion? I don't know. Those numbers look shocking. I think she was batting. Oh, okay. All right, fine. Right, so here's Jack Rasputin. Nutmegs the pitcher and will make his way to first. Okay, Bumson making something happen here, but I think they've left it too late. Is Bunk. What's he got for us? Anything? The one. He twitched, but nothing happened. Here comes the second pitch. No, it doesn't. And that will be a cheap out. Yet more high quality play there from the medics. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Top quality play from Bumson there. The coaching of these teams is little short of appalling. Anyway, Cheerio are, are batting now. Bird Dog facing off against Vera. And, uh, who's uh, sorting out a, a backside there for a moment. Anyway, um, that's not gone well. No, Bird Dog. He's, he tried to go to his happy place. Couldn't find it. He's gone to the dugout to look further. Uh, here comes uh, Lance. Splendid. It's a hit. No. The pitcher just hit a double. Uh, unless I'm mistaken. Here comes Jeff from IT. They keep playing this guy, but he doesn't do anything. And that was the pitcher hitting a double. Okay. Alright. Vera needs to dig in. They've got one out so far here in the bottom of the third. And speaking of things that are out. Oh dear. Jeff from IT. So slow he couldn't even make it after the pitcher fumbled. But we have a runner on third. And it is Jack Mercury at bat. The only home run hitter of the series so far. No pressure, Murky Jack. Stroke two. It's ball two. Smack. No. Okay. Oh, full count. What's it going to be? It's a foul. Well, of course it is. Come on, hit the ball. He's out. Murky Jack strikes out, and we are still deadlocked. At zero. Two hits to one. After three innings, it is tense. Splendid there. Managing to hit a double, but uh, no one could capitalise on it. As uh, as Bunk is now up for another bat. Really? Well, I didn't think we saw him that long ago. We didn't. There he goes. It's a base hit. All right. No outs. Runner on base. Put on your excitement hats, everybody. And uh, you never know. We might get something. Will we? Is Tyrone. If anybody were going to break through, it would be Tyrone. The big beast of hitters for the medics. And we've got a stolen base going on there. Big beast of hitters. He's a monster. He's a gorilla in the mist. And he's hit that one far enough for a base hit. But it's also far enough to get the runner home. And the, Mud and the Muddicks have taken the lead. What's that? The Bemson Muddicks. Something along those lines, certainly. Okay, then. What? Well, oh, yeah, we're trying to throw that guy out again. Okay, here we go. Tonya Spangle now trying to build on the fact that they've got a runner on first. Two balls. Uh, fouls that one off. Not, uh, not really looking at it, clearly. Because that was another ball. So was that. You'd have walked by now, Tonya. That was a ball as well, but you spotted that one. There's the full count. 
What's she going to do? She tickles it up the middle. Is it enough? There was an easy out there at second. They decided to throw out the easy first rather than uh, rather than take the, the advanced runner. One out now. And it's Perry Salinas who's, who's looking to do something. Two balls in a row. Splendid's pitching. He's not really finding the mark very often at the moment. Hasn't mattered so far because Bumson have been stinking the place up. But uh, it will matter if they ever figure out what sport it is they're playing. Oh! That's splendid with a very dangerous pitch there. Uh, that would have caught out just about anybody. And did. So there's that. And uh, it's Bambi Severe to try and try and turn this runner that they've got into something. Paste. I, uh, could be anything at this point. Uh, and she's out. Yeah. Okay, well, we've got to run. And that's, that's something. I'm no longer back in the medics. I'm back to being non-partisan again. I like both teams equally little. Yeah. I, I dislike them both intensely because they're not my team. Here's Tallulah, gibbering sponge. She's got a big name already, but can she become a big name by doing something big for Cheerio Incorporated? Not, not like that, she won't. No. Or that. No. And. And is out. Thumbs up. High quality hand signalling there. Indicating she's quite pleased with that result. Is Vera. Uh, whose confidence is on the up and up. As Daphne Teflon is going to try and. Baseball. She has the baseball. But it's not enough. She did not do enough baseball there. And she's run out to first. As Marcel Purpose is coming up. To see if he can play the game. It's a close one. At this stage, you you wouldn't want to call it. Wait for it. No. And. No. And. Yes. It's a base hit. Well, with two outs. And they're not us. Obviously, when we've got two outs. Then, uh, you know, we're at our most dangerous. Uh, but, uh. When Cheerio are at two outs, they rapidly turn into three outs. Wait for it. Butterfly Porkchop. Endeavouring to turn this moment into one that will be written about for approximately 30 seconds before something else happens. Oh! There's a thing. Yeah, what happened? I'd say that was an error by the catcher that resulted in the runner advancing to second. Uh, but we got a walk anyway. So that was just a waste of everybody's time. Here's Steve Mastodon. Opportunity to be a hero with two runners on base. A big hit from Steve. A double of some description. And we're looking at a run. Anything other than that. Or a home run, obviously. Or a triple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A walk. Okay. All right. There's several things that could happen here that would lead to something. And what we had was an error from the... Uh, I think that was the third baseman making an error. And we know our base is loaded and it's Bird Dog. And you can tell he wants it because he swung at that one. And that one. Yeah, the swings are happening but they're all rubbish. There's ball one. Has Bird Dog got what it takes? Or is he going to choke? Well, I wouldn't necessarily say it was a choke. But it, it, that was not the hit that, uh, that he wanted. And it's all, it's all for naught. Managing to advance that many batters onto the field. Anyway, here's Bumson. And Bumson's uh, power dynamic is off the curve. And uh, Bumson is off the field. Oh, dearie me. Here's Barbara the Butcher. She's a bad player as well. Uh, Bumson are clearly fielding the worst they've got at the moment. Uh, they see it that this uh, this one run lead that they've got is probably going to be enough. Yeah, <laughs> I did get you. That's true. You did. Here's Vera Contagion, who's going to have a bat, and frankly, she can't do any worse than the other clowns that we've been looking at. She just, she genuinely can't. 
it would be nice to see a dead picture. Huh? How do you feel about that, Vera? She feels like being caught. Well, she's hit it further than anyone else on her team. And bumps and are gone. We are rattling through these innings at a, at a fair shake as Cheerio come in for the bottom of the fifth. And it's Lance Splendid. He's, uh, he's, he's feeling lively. That one was lively. That went all over the place. I don't think it stopped rolling yet. That one will be out. Hard luck there, Lance. Didn't work. Hard luck. No. Just. No. Jeff from IT. It's a big hit. Has it got the distance? Yes. And Jeff from IT pulls it up. You wouldn't have thought that Jeff from IT would be the man to, uh, to sit a home run on us. And yet there it is. It's over the fence. It, it was a long one. It was a rainbow, that one. Uh, but uh, no, there it is. And the, and the score is tied once again. I mean, one to nothing, the score is pretty much tied anyway, isn't it? Uh, yeah. No, just... Oof. Gibbering sponge. Anywhere else, I don't know what the uh, the YouTube auto-subtitles are going to make of that. They might get it right. Um, who's that? I don't know. What does it matter? It's, uh, that, was, that was Tallulah gibbering sponge. Okay. At the end of five, it's all square. We start again. Rasputin. He's having some. Uh, one and one accounts. Uh, Splendid. He's looking... He's still got plenty of stamina, actually. Lance Splendid. Uh, but if his confidence goes, his stats are going to drop in a hurry. Uh, Rasputin can't find the ball, really. And he's struck out. Oh, fist pump. Yeah. Here comes Bunk. He's uh, batting 500 in the game so far. Okay. Come on then. No. All right. And this time. Nope. This one. Uh -uh. Three balls, one strike. No, right. Bunk fouls that one off. And there it is. Run out to first. Two outs now. Here's Tyrone. The monster. Uh, the King Kong of baseball in the Electro Sports League. Exponential Tyrone is exponentially out. Right then. Bottom of the sixth now. Cheerio Incorporated with Daft Teflon. Who for some reason is in a very good mood. Uh, but hasn't done anything to really warrant it. Ball two. Uh, she's got a good eye as Daft Teflon. And gets a walk. Yep. Okay. Alright. Runner on. Cheerio Incorporated with opportunities now. Marcel Purpose is playing well today. He's two for two from his at-bats. Uh, a good hit here would, uh, would probably do enough to go. Oh, Daft's taken off and has to come back again. Because Marcel fouled it. God, Marcel. Flipping Marcel. Yeah. Don't know why we bother. But he gets walked as well. And uh, you have to think that Vera Contagion's uh, numbers are... I was going to say days are numbered. It's Justice Lemon again. Have they got no other relievers? Wow. Yeah. Because I'll be honest with you. Justice Lemon hasn't been very good. No. Justice Lemon's been more like Justice Liability. It's true. It's true. That's the thing that's happened. Uh, however, here's trouble. Out number one. Out number two. It's a double play. But they do still have a runner on third. And it's Steve Mastodon who's going to try and turn that into something. A run. Could be. Could be a run. It, that's what he might try to turn it into. Uh, the other opportunity that he's got is turning it into a massive disappointment. There it is. Massive dis He took door B there. And at the end of six, it's one all. One all is what it is. Here's Tonya Spangle. No comment required. 
No. Comment to be added later. Yes. Now back, the right fielder, number 50. Flaming left over cold. That was an out there. For those of you listening on the wires, apologies. The commenter. I pause the game if I'm doing this and I'm recording, but live you just don't have the opportunity. What's happening? That's a base hit. For who? Anyone. It's a it's a bumson. A bumson has a base hit. Excitement. Uh, here's Bambi Severe. One out. Runner on first. Uh, the runner's got some pace. No idea who it is. Oh, can we have a look? It's a lady. Okay. That's nice. Yeah. Bambi Severe. Uh, if you can't quite make her out, uh, she is the, uh, the, the the very thin stripe holding a baseball bat. I mean, she is ridiculously thin. I, I mean, there are some thin players in this league, but I think Bambi Severe may be the thinnest player I've seen. Didn't stop her getting a base hit, though. Nope. One out, runners first and second. Bumpson with an opportunity here. And it's Bumson who's going to try and give that opportunity to Bumson. Bumson is a big nothing. They're trying to steal both bases. What are they playing at? Well, they got away with it. All right, okay. Bumson there, strike two. And he struck out. Whew. Which means that it all falls on the on the shoulders of Barbara the... No, Barbara the Butcher, they've gone... No, I don't... I don't flipping think so. They're bringing in Donna Baps. Uh, Lance Splendid is gone. Raimondo Bangit's in. Steve Mastodon is gone. Plastic, spun, uh, Plastic Swans is in. All the changes that you could shake a stick at here. Uh, both teams desperate to turn this game around. And it needs to be turned in any direction at all. Uh, Donna there. Flapping away aimlessly. Two strikes. There's ball one. Bangit can't quite find his way through. Uh, that one's fouled off. And ball two. Donna, good eye so far. There's ball three. And that's a base hit. And they're going for two. Uh, Bomson take the lead. Three to one now. As, uh, as Justice Lemon comes in. And they're keeping him in. Uh, runner on first. Justice Lemon there with a pretty fair hit, it has to be said. <laughs> He's it. He makes it. Terrible fielding. Terrible fielding. Runners first and second. Two outs. And it's Jack Rasputin. Uh, a, good, a good moment here because Bangit is looking tired. Uh, and if they can capitalise on this, they might be able to put it beyond reach in this inning. And I think Rasputin senses that as he's flapping away at everything. Oh, he's, no, he's screwed it up. It's a disaster. Oh, well. The medics have taken the lead. A two-run inning there, and that's made a bit of a difference. Made a bit of a difference. Uh, Bird Dog up to bat. Uh, he's brought his rage with him. Donald Baps is back out. They put in Ben. Why do you exist? Turncoat. Justice Lemon on the pitching. Looks quite solid, has to be said. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, and, no. Bird Dog, he needs, he needs a hit, does Bird Dog. Bird Dog, he's, he's lacking a moment. He's a good player, but has not delivered throughout the entirety of this series. And uh, it's just a, just a shame for him. It's, you don't like to see a good player do badly. Unless you're playing against them. This Plastic Swan, speaking of good players doing bad. Oh, look at that. The confidence of Justice Lemon there. Just going to go in. Yeah, I know it. Here's Jeff from IT. The, uh, the owner of the one run that Cheerio have so far. How does he feel? Well, he's seen ball three there. Fouled that one off. No, Jeff from IT there, attempting to do it all by himself, failing to do it all at all. Has to be said, despite the, the bullpen, that was the bullpen there for uh, Cheerio Incorporated. Uh, and we're going to go to see, we're seeing probable legs 
a good pitcher by any measure but particularly by the measure that measures whether they're any good or not a good pitcher maybe definitely a bad fielder though here's Tyrone who is now rattled Tyrone has got nothing in the tank as far as confidence is concerned but he is still the uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex of baseball he's a comet coming around the sun and impacting the planet like a comet impacting the planet Roland Emmerich will make a movie about him at some point and there will be many cutscenes filled with epic things never mind maybe not today Tonya Spangle next up runner on first as Bumson try and increase their lead here at the top of the eighth a Tyronosaurus that's very good Alfred very good that one is gonna be caught now number two runner at second two outs top of the eighth and uh, Perry Salinas is gonna try and something with the ball it's like Mad Libs you just gotta try and figure out what she's gonna try and do with the ball I mean, we know what she's supposed to try and do with it, but what she ends up doing with it is anybody's guess. Oh, she's done that. Uh, oh, that's, that's not what you should have tried. No further scoring for Bomson, who have one batting inning left unless we enter overtime. Here's Murky Jack. Well, I think uh, the play of Murky Jack is going to indicate how this team is going to recover. And Murky Jack silences his critics with authority by pumping it over the right field fence and uh, that's one cheerio are adrift by one run so that's it's livened it up a little bit Tallulah there can't do much with that one ended up foul and strikes out the lemon making it uh, zesty is daft teflon i've bigged her up far too much she's achieved nothing apart from that one catch but this one's gone high it's gone long-ish has it gone long-ish enough no it has not it's caught out by bunk over in left field oh here's marcel purpose nothing okay come on come on marcel make a game of it he's trying but he's caught. Out number three. And at the end of eight, Medics three. Cheerio two. Medics up to bat. And we're in the final furlong. The final furlong. No more bets may be taken. Because anything could happen. Yeah. Probable legs. Pitching to Bambi Severe. Nice hit from Bambi, but it's going to be caught. Had it gone just a bit longer, just a little bit shorter, should still be in. Here's Bumson, who is a major disappointment to the team so far, but that's going to end in a difficult place. It could be enough for a double. He's rounding first, he's going up to second. Bumson with a double. He wants it, he's feeling it for the team, and, uh, and is trying to trying to extract a little bit more of a, a oh no, it's Ben Ruddy turncoat oh, look at him he's just a big wet nothing we ain't Ben turncoat he's rubbish just oh dear I mean even just watching him stand there wait until he's out it's depressing yeah come on just get out just just get out yeah no you're wasting everyone's time there you go. <sighs> right. Here we go. Here's Justice Lemon. This is this is a better batter. Yeah. The Lemon. They're keeping him in. That's the level of confidence they've got right now. With two outs, they're keeping their pitcher in batting. Madness. And indeed, out. Well, the medics, they're clearly hoping that they have done enough. I'm not so sure, you know. I don't think they have. Here's Butterfly Porkchop. Justice Lemon. He's looking tired. 
Pork chop is gone. That's one away. Two outs separate the Bomson Medics from the Electro Sports Baseball Championship. Probable legs. No, not you. Miss Florida, 1997, pinch hitting again. She's accomplished nothing from her pinch hitting so far. Maybe this is the game. Maybe. Foul. It, it sounded good, but wasn't. That one. Rubbish. She's history. Two outs. Bird Dog. Now, I've been saying Bird Dog is overdue a big play. Is this it? Strike one. Needs to be this. And uh, Justice Lemon is extremely tired. He strikes out. Bird Dog throws it away. The bat's gone. It's all gone. The Bumson Medics have won the Electro Sports Baseball Cup of Baseball, uh, which is full of Electro Sports and Baseball, mixed gingerly in a, uh, in a flask of some description. Who have they awarded their star player to? They're throwing some bloke in the air. Yeah, we so pleased. Well, there you are, your Bumson Medics. Have uh, have won it all, and the crowd goes crazy. The team are delighted, quite clearly, quite clearly delighted. Uh, many of them are waved. Some of them have got both hands in the air as though surrendering, but they're not surrendering. No, because they are victorious. The medics have done it. The crowd's going bananas. It's magnificent. Um, yeah, that's, that's what we all that's what we all love to see, and. Uh, it's been a lengthy season, this one. 48 game season. And I think the playing every other game has, has made it suitably challenging and interesting. The Medics, 3-2. Final score. Two games to nothing. They had to come back after that first game. And, uh, and so on. All of that stuff that sportscasters say. I'm saying it now. And you're believing it as authentic. It's, uh, it's all good. Uh, who played like rubbish then? Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? Jeff from IT, he tried to win it on himself. Uh, Jack Mercury with his home run there to try and try and bolster Cheerio in Corp. Too little, too late. Just a load of rubbish. Uh, Justice Lemon given the win with six strikeouts. Nicely, nicely. It is Lance Splendid. Justice Lemon, that's who they were chucking in the air. Really? Apparently. Lance Splendid is your star player of the day. But he lost. Where's the justice in that? Well, that's anybody's guess. Anybody's guess. So it's uh, it's all over. There you are. That's it. Yeah. No, we lost to Lingo Blend. Lingo Blend lost to the Medics. The Medics won the full thing. Clearly demonstrating that Fail Brigade is the superior division. Just just saying. The uh, superior conference. I've been Colonel Failure, everybody. The baseball will return later this year. Uh, the baseball draft, if you are a member of Fail Brigade, sign up now to take on a team. If you'd like to draft for one of the teams in the league, which is being extended, extended league next season, eight new teams being added. <sighs> I tell you what, these people are watching the live stream. Show them the new teams. All right, I'll show them the new teams. All right, yeah, no, we can do that. Uh, what am I doing? We're, we're backing up. Yeah, we're backing up. Yeah, we're going to customize, and then we're going to teams. And uh, right, there, you've got uh, the mainline fire niners are going to turn up. Uh, and then you've got, uh, where are we? The sweaty marsupials. They're coming in. As are the toy masters. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, the voodoo boys aren't making it. They were going to. Uh, that's Just ignore that one. Uh, the wizard hole wizards. They're joining the party as well. There are others. I think, no, maybe you've not set the teams up yet. I haven't set the teams up yet. Oh, crikey. That's another little job to do. Anyway. Next weekend, the return of the football. I will complete the football season and then the baseball will be back. Thanks very much for watching and for your support this season. I hope you have a pleasant remainder of the day and let the baseball rain on you. Or things. I know, it's just...